Hello, my name is Grace Bryan, and along with Mark Arnold, Winky Kai, and Majestic Bellamy, we are thrilled to present to you our research findings for Nibaloo. This has been a really exciting project, and we are honored to have worked with such an incredible startup company, and we appreciate your partnership with us. In our initial meetings with you all, we heard you emphasize two main needs beyond all others the need to engage customers, and the need to validate your marketing efforts to investors. With these two needs top of mind, we constructed a comprehensive marketing research plan to address your needs and provide a strategy for you to move forward that is backed by data. Based on the overarching decisions that y'all have to make, we landed on a marketing research problem that would address your needs and that we could actually answer with consumer research within the duration of this course determining who your target audience is, and the most effective marketing channels and tactics to reach that audience, generating leads and loyal returning customers. We focused on four key research questions to guide our data. Number one, what are the demographics and psychographics of Niblu's target audience, the people that are most likely to use your website? What social media platforms initiate the spillover effect? meaning that they are gonna be the most effective in creating customer engagement and brand awareness with your target audience. And number three, what are the most effective strategies that Nibaloo's competitors use to attract consumers? And finally, how do different generations develop brand loyalty within the confines of online shopping? Now, before we get into the results, which I know is what we are all waiting for, we want you to know that we situated all of our questions and data within the context of an extensive body of research around consumer behavior toward clean beauty and social media. We did not want to waste y'all's time working on a question that has already been answered. Here are a few quick hits on what we already know. Higher income earning female consumers who have a graduate diploma and are between age 20 and 40 are most likely to purchase natural, clean cosmetics whether that be online or in-store. However, studies that showed this were conducted internationally and they differed in how they defined clean beauty. We wanted to do better than this for Nibaloo and find exactly who your target audience is. We found that there is a growing generation of baby boomers retiring with more purchasing power than any other age group and they have a knowledge gap about makeup. We found that millennials and Gen Z look to social media to gather information about beauty. Millennials specifically read reviews and have high concern for environmental issues when it comes to shopping for personal care products. The last thing we discovered is a concept called the spillover effect. If you think of a cup that overflows and impacts what is around it, that is similar to how posting on one social media platform affects consumer engagement across all other platforms. So unlike spilled milk, the spillover effect is a good thing in the context of marketing. It provides a theoretical framework to explain how brands should distribute their social media content to maximize their profits and engagement. This is a critical framework we incorporated into our research design. Thank you, Grace. Now let's talk about research question number one. What are the demographics and psychographics of consumers most likely to use a clean beauty search engine? We gathered this quantitative information using a survey of 20 to 25 questions and receive feedback from approximately 120 to 130 respondents. The hypothesis that we attempted to consider was if a particular demographic would favor using the Nibaloo platform and specific shopping behaviors would significantly influence use. According to the analysis results, there was a strong positive association between clean beauty knowledge and the chance of using Nibaloo among the respondents polled. As people understand clean beauty, they are more likely to use Nibaloo. The prospect of utilizing the Nibaloo platform did not change substantially by age, with 27 to 42 year olds taking the top spot in our survey results. Respondents who buy clean beauty products because they like to try new things are substantially more likely to use Nibaloo than respondents who purchase clean beauty products because they feel these items are better quality than conventional cosmetics. 
The frequency of using Mibalu varied according to a respondent's purchase criteria for beauty goods. Respondents who buy beauty products based on pricing were considerably more likely to use Mibalu than respondents who buy beauty products based on clean and natural components. Now, here's Jess to review question three. Hi, my name is Majestic Bellamy, and for research question number two, it is what social media platforms initiate the spillover effect the best, resulting in increased customer engagement and brand awareness for Nibaloo. For this one, we did a survey and an in-depth interview, and our hypothesis is initiating digital marketing strategies on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube will positively affect the spillover effect, which will increase customer engagement and increase brand awareness. Based on SBSS results, we found that most people use Google, beauty websites, and social media. Those who use Instagram are more likely to follow brands on social media. Also, those who follow brands on Instagram are more likely to go to the brand's website. In one of our survey questions, from which social media platform are you most likely to visit a brand's website, we found that Instagram was chosen the most at 51.5%, Facebook at 24.3%, and YouTube at 11%. As for our in-depth interview results, we found that for social media preference, 75% chose Instagram, stating Facebook is where they mostly check up on family and friends. YouTube came in second place. It was also recommended to use Instagram stories and reels to reach the younger generations. Thanks so much for that, Jess. Now let's talk about research question three. What are the most effective marketing strategies Nibaloo's competitors use to attract consumers who shop for beauty online? We obtained qualitative data for this research question by conducting in-depth interviews that were 30 to 45 minutes long with 12 participants. Our hypothesis was that competitors will entice customers to use competitor products with rewards programs and limited time offers. During her interview, one of our Gen X respondents stated nearly all of Nibaloo's capabilities as a desired website functionality we found that Nibaloo is more likely to be used by those who follow beauty brands, influencers, and companies. Most customers utilize Google beauty websites and social media to shop for cosmetics online. Micro-influencers are also beneficial because they do not require a large following. Now here's Winky to talk about question four. Hi, this is Wenqi, and I'm going to talk about the RQ4, how do Gen X, Y, and Z consumers who shop for the beauty products online develop a brand loyalty. We use qualitative data from the in-depth interview method. The in-depth interview reveals whether different generations like X, Y, and Z carry other purchasing habits and preferences for the cosmetic products. Our interviews with Gen X, Y, and Z offer no true loyalty to a brand. Their willingness to try new products opens the door for Nibaloo to provide a valuable online shopping experience for its customers. Again, not limiting marketing strategy, uh, resources to a specific target audience will allow Nibaloo to engage with a broader spectrum of clean beauty enthusiasts. Just surprisingly find out that the brand loyalty is subjective and the price doesn't play a huge role in gaining brand loyalty. People will spend money on things that work for their skin. With that, most generations shop on Instagram and look for new products through YouTube and the recommendations. They don't want to necessarily hear from the comp company itself about what the product does and how effective it is, but want to hear from real, everyday people and influencers. The bottom line is with these findings, we were able to answer the marketing research problem that set us on this journey. Nibaloo's target audience is most concerned about price and tend to be millennials between ages 27 and 42. A lot of demographics didn't stick out as significant, which means that Nibaloo is beneficial for a diverse, broader audience than we may have originally thought. That doesn't mean that Nibaloo shouldn't focus their marketing efforts, but it does mean that Nibaloo has a choice in determining their target consumer according to their mission and vision. We also found that Instagram is the best platform for Nibaloo to get the most engagement and leads. That small influencers make a big impact and so do short creative videos. We also found that Gen Y and Gen Z may already be loyal to a brand, 
So you're going to have to incorporate incentives like rewards programs to bring them to your site and create return customers. With these findings, we think we solved your marketing decision needs. We've created specific marketing recommendations for you on the following slides based on our research. As for our recommendations, despite finding a broad range of users interested in clean beauty, we recommend focusing on lifestyle choices, rewards programs, particular skincare concerns, and ratings and reviews. Hi, here are the key deliverables and the recommendations for the Niblu. They can make short videos on product comparisons with real people using and trying the products based on different needs. They can also send samples out to many influencers who post content about products and showcase them on websites. This will help them build brand awareness. People will pay for what works, but to entice people, they can offer a 10% code if people subscribe. 